So I get the cradle locked up and he goes flat. I don't want to be a finger grip lock. I went up to my feet when I did this at Worlds, so I'm falling on my side. So here are two other cradle finishes from this position on a quad pod on our outside cradle that we just went over. So I get my heel up, I put my leg in, I, I start walking them back. When I get my cradle locked, sometimes guys will go, they'll freak out and they'll go flat. This is how, what happened at Worlds. Um, right here, this can be a really hard position to cradle someone from just because they can hold a really wide base and they can post their hands out. So my lock, first of all, I don't want to be a finger grip lock. I like to have no thumbs. I like to go palm to palm almost right here. So when I get my lock, if I'm finger grip, I would try to adjust. So once I'm here, I want to take a big step with my back foot, the foot that's in between his legs. I want to take a big step as high as I can up, uh, up by his leg. And now all I'm going to do is lift him straight up. So sometimes I, I, uh, I went up to my feet when I did this at Worlds, where I stood all the way up and picked him up. But you don't even need to do that. You can just bring, post your other knee up. Uh, right next to his rib cage, and I'm just gonna lift him straight up. Once he's up here, now he's defenseless. Now all I do is fall back slowly. Right there. So I'll show that one more time. So I get the cradle locked up, and he goes flat. All I'm gonna do is take a big step with my back foot up as high as I can in between the legs. My knee is posted by, by, right by his rib cage. I'm gonna lift him straight up. Everything starts to get really tight, and I just fall back. Hey guys, if you're enjoying this instructional video, this is only the tip of the iceberg. We have so much more instructional content on our website, app.athletesocean.com. Back to the video. So that's another finish when our opponent goes flat uh, on the outside cradle. And then the next one we're going to do is when our opponent, he just just trying to stay up as strong as he can and a lot of his weight's on his hands. So I can't pull him backwards and he's not going down flat. So I lock this cradle up, I pull him back. I get it locked up. Now he's leaning forward. I can't pull him back here. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do almost like a cartwheel on my head. And this is what it's gonna do is it's gonna choke him and it's gonna put a lot of pressure on the top of his head. So I get my cradle locked, I pull my leg out and all I'm gonna do is headstand and I just start falling. So I wanna make sure we're not doing a forward roll. All we're gonna do is when I lock this up, I'm going to arch my back and I'm going to put my head down and almost do a cartwheel so I'm falling on my side. So right here, I arch and I'm falling on my side right here. See how my back never ever touches the ground. The only thing that really hits is my shoulder. It's really, really important. That's what's going to put a lot of weight on his head. So one more time, I get my cradle locked. Now my partner's weight's forward, I can't pull him back, so I'm gonna do is I'm gonna arch, and I'm gonna start to fall. Almost do a cartwheel on my head. Catch him, right here. So those are uh, two other finishes from the outside cradle uh, that I'll do, for, depending on what uh, reaction my opponent gives me. If you guys wanna master these positions and get better technically, there's way more of this content on app.athletesocean.com. Go check it out.